Thanks, Jason. Uh, my name is Julian Gay, co-founder and CEO of Zendo, Cloud Search for Business. This is my co-founder, Dominic Lee. We're all working with multiple cloud apps. Things like Google for email, Box and Dropbox for files, Trello for to-dos. And there's more every day. It's getting overwhelming. Almost 10% of our work week is lost navigating between apps looking for content. And it's even worse for our companies to have to manage over 400 different cloud apps. So Zendo's here to help. We create a single search box across all your apps that's embedded in your browser as a Chrome extension. So you can use intuitive natural language statements like customer updates, drilling down into details like in emails since last week. There's four main capabilities. Search, find, relate, and alert. So let's take a look. So many of our customers are in sales and marketing and are entrepreneurs. And we all know that being able to act quickly can mean the difference between winning and losing a deal. So what's this? It looks like I just received an email about the upcoming ski season. That's right. Winter is coming. So that gives me an idea. What was that company we spoke to last week? Stark Industries? Because I have Google, because I have Zendo installed in my browser, it's enhanced my regular search results with results from across my different business services. So that is not the Stark Industries I'm looking for, but that is, and it looks like somebody in my company already presented to them. So I can click through directly into the right place in Drive and see that presentation. So it looks like we talked to a Jon Snow. Hmm. Now I can use Zendo to search. So it just slides in from the side. And without typing anything, I see my latest updates across all of my content. So in this case, I've got 16 services connected. Connecting a service is really easy. It's just clicks. So I'm just going to connect Dropbox here. And it's, it's done. So. I'm going to look for Jon Snow. So I can see I've got a couple of emails and some other things, but I'm actually looking for his contact information. So Zendo is going to suggest the services and content types where I can find Jon, or I can just type. So I can see in contacts, the top one is in Salesforce. So I'm going to click through and deep link directly into the right place in the application. So Jon Snow. Lord Commander, is he a decision maker? Let's take a look. Again, I can use Zendo there in the menu to look at some documents. And it looks like I have a note in Evernote. So I can take a quick look at a preview. It looks like, yes, he is a decision maker. So I'm going to pick up the phone, and I'm going to close that deal. So that's just a very quick example of how easy it is to work across all of your cloud applications using Zendo. So our team's background is, is building secure enterprise systems for banks and telcos for the past 15 years. And we've embedded all of that experience into how we built Zendo from the ground up with multiple layers of security and independent testing. What that means is your content coming from your cloud service through to your search results is secured end to end with 256-bit encryption. As you saw, we don't actually have anyone's passwords, but any sensitive data is also encrypted at rest on our servers as an additional security layer. And we work seamlessly with the permissions, with the security of all your cloud applications, and we reflect those permission changes automatically in Zendo. And last but not least, we integrate with the infrastructure that IT has already put in place, things like SAML and single sign-on solutions, like one login. So we've been in private beta since the beginning of the year, and we're now used in over 700 awesome companies like Yammer, Lyft, and Netflix. We have a freemium business model with a, a paid pro tier at $9 per user per month, offering advanced filters and alerts, and a business tier for larger groups offering custom integrations and greater controls like data residency. So this is great. But where's it all heading? Like great companies before us, we see search as just the beginning. 
we see it as a foundation for building intelligent business apps. And we've already done that with one of our customers where we enable them to identify and connect experts across their own company, powered by Zendo. So this is a big vision, and it's, it's, we're going to take the steps to get there. But as we all know, the journey of a 1,000 miles starts with a single step. So join us today, launching in public, get cloud search for you and your business set up in under a minute. Go to xcn.do. Thank you. Do you build the search index for each of these different deployments in your own cloud, or do you do deployments within each company? And also, for the different search indexes, do you have um, different views for individual users that reflect their permissions, or does everything just get put into one big pool? <laughs> yeah, a lot of questions there. So. Uh, so yes, we have a kind of like multi-tenant architecture where the indexes are all in the same infrastructure. We can host them separately, which is kind of that business, uh, the business level where we could host them like a private cloud, so then it would be completely separate. Um, we connect on behalf of the user, so we basically create a personal private index for that user, even though it's in that same multi-tenant infrastructure. Well, can you talk a little bit about um, setup? Is this something that you expect my, someone in my IT department to buy and bring into the company and say, hey, now you all have Zendo? Or something you expect kind of, you know, with a lot of sort of new enterprise companies where people will sort of bring it in one by one and they'll connect up with their own services and start using it? Yeah, exactly. So we, we started out, you know, kind of uh, with that grassroots adoption. You know, made a really simple, kind of easy to use product that people self adopt, you know, the end users. And then we do get kind of organic growth inside companies, but then we actually end up talking to IT, you know, to do those kind of integrations and make sure everything's secure for the company. So it's a bit of both, really. Okay, so, so I am allowed to kind of bring it in and just start searching on my own stuff using Zendo now. Will my IT department kind of freak out if they realize I'm putting all that data somewhere else? Um, possibly, but I mean, that's happening anyway with, uh, you know, the adoption of things like Dropbox, you know, all kinds of applications. I mean, so it's, it's an interesting time that we're at where, where end users are driving the selection of the applications and then IT are supporting them, you know, with that selection. That is. Yeah. Um, I guess it's two questions, but it could also be one. Uh, so you, you right now, you have a Chrome extension. Like, um, uh, can you t tell us a little bit more, like, what additional access points for Sendo you are building, because um, they, I'm probably in the need of looking something up when I'm on the go, and, and I, I don't think there's a mobile component there right now. And the other thing, which I think is attached to this, is, you know, if I'm in my company con conversations, like I'm using Slack or HipChat, like I don't really want to go like somewhere else to look up information. What are your plans like, to be part of those communication channels that happen in a company? Yeah, so um, the last part of the question, I mean, we don't think there should be 10 places to search, three places, three places should be one. So we, we have invested early on in an architecture which means we can plug new services in really quickly, like one or two days. Uh, and so we do aim to give you coverage over all your structured and unstructured data. So contacts, emails, documents, leads. And have enough flexibility that you can go from a broad search to drill down into specifics. So we don't lose the granularity of the individual services. And you know, we, from a user experience perspective, we, we try to work seamlessly with your existing workflow and just augment that. Um, and your, your first question about the kind of, what about all the other mm -hmm. devices? So everything that we've built based on our own REST-based API, which currently is private, but we want to open that up and let developers build for all the emerging devices which are continually developing. And we provide, we'll be the providers of enterprise context in, in that form. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. O over time, what do you think prevents, for example, the Chrome team from just making these sorts of integrations you know, exactly. native to the browser, native to Google? Yeah, I mean, so the, I mean, the form factor we picked with Chrome is because it's the most popular browser right now, and it's, you know, it's just embedded, so you know, there's no change in workflow. 
But we think it's going to be very hard for the bigger players to do something similar because for us, it's just working with public, uh, public APIs. But for them, it's you know, huge business development deals with every person they want to integrate with. Um, so we already have done those integrations. We already have relationships. We're out there in the market now. Um, so you know, we think it's, it, it's a play that only a Switzerland can actually win at. What is but the isn't, feedback? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, maybe just a quick fo follow up to Switzerland. Is, um, isn't, isn't this also like one of the risks that you're like, um, dependent on public APIs for like, um, like major services? Uh, not really. I mean, in like uh, consumer APIs, it may be a risk, but, but these enterprise APIs, they realize, you know, all of these, you know, mm -hmm. great services, they realize they play in an ecosystem. They realize that, you know, you, you're going to have your sales leads in one system, your email in another, your files in another. There's not going to be one Uber service. Right. And so they know that they need to play with, you know, transversal services like ours. Okay. Uh, what is the feedback from your original customers? Like, what are their biggest feature requests or pain points that they're experiencing right now? Yeah, uh, people are amazed at how easy it is to set up. Um, you know, it's literally just clicks in under a minute. Um, they're amazed about how you can jump between the different apps. Um, so, you know, it's kind of creating that seamless experience. Um, what was your last question? What are their feature requests? Oh, what feature requests. Yeah, so, so because, so, you know, one of our differentiators is that we have, you know, five to ten times the coverage of services than our competitors. So they'll see, like, okay, you've got nine of them, but I also use Jira, for example. That's one of our <laughs> requests. Yeah. Um, you know, and so they'll ask us to, include those and we can quickly provision that. Unfortunately, we're out of time. You guys did a great job. That was Zendo. Give it up for them. Thank you.